Welcome to the Tripo AI Guidebook. In this session, we'll cover how to quickly create scenes using two handy tools. Let's start with the first one, Blockade Labs Skybox. You can find it at this link, insert link. Similar to Tripo AI, it generates scenes. Besides text, you can use a brush as part of the scene's outline. Number one represents the brush tool, and number two is the input prompt box, including reverse prompts. Now, let's generate an alley scene. For example, use the prompt. Dilapidated alleys, narrow. Select the second tool on the left toolbar, the brush tool, and draw a simple outline. If there's content you don't want, don't use prompts like without or no. Instead, check negative text and fill in unwanted content without using negations. Next, in the bottom right corner, go to select a style and choose a suitable style. Here, I chose digital painting. Click generate, and the scene is successfully generated. Click the download button next to the heart symbol to save and import it into Blender. Download the HDR file and in Blender, go to the world properties at position one. Add environment texture and open the downloaded .hdr file. Now adjust the size and position of your model. There are two ways to solve this. Manual adjustment or using the HDRE Maker plugin. Search and install the HDRE Maker plugin. Enable it in Blender preferences. Press N to open the tool panel. Select it. Click Dome Light. Add Dome and experiment with different modes. Zoom into the sphere's interior, ensuring the model contacts the ground while addressing any environmental distortions. Adjust the Pikachu model's size and finalize the environment by scaling the dome in the Dome Light Properties drop-down. Adjust highlights, roughness, and metalness in the Dome Color menu. Eliminate distortions in the Dome Vectors menu by adjusting angles, positions, scaling, and adjust boundary. Loose blur intensity with blur distance. Select the camera layer, adjust its position with G, and ensure the desired alignment on X, E, Z axis. For further adjustments, navigate to the Output Properties panel, set camera proportions, resolution, and adjust the camera's position with the shortcut G. 